after three decades, the first chapter, the era of the Rashidun, the rightly guided, was over. كان الصراع بين رجل خليفة وقره الدين والتقشف والرؤية العلمية الدينية وبين الشخص الداهية السياسي معاوية بن أبي سفيان ونرى بأن السياسة هنا تغلبت على البساطة والتقشف والورع الديني معاوية emerged triumphant establishing the Umayyad Caliphate a new dynasty no longer primarily religious the caliphate now began to look more like a monarchy the ruins of anjar in eastern lebanon Once thought to be Byzantine Roman, the city was in fact built by the Umayyads. They had adopted the architectural style of the Byzantines, along with their structures of imperial rule. مهن كانوا على اطلاع سواء بنظام الحكم البيزنطي والامبراطوري الفارسي فاخذوا من النظامين حتى يبنوا نظام الخلافه بس نظام الخلافه ما عنده قواعد اذا بدك بالقران الكريم نفسه هو شغل الانسان يعني under معاويه the caliphate changed its form and as a king would have done, he named his son Yazid as his successor. The early caliphate was not dynastic. People were chosen by being designated by their predecessor or by groups um, who consulted amongst themselves. So it was, if you like, elective in the loosest possible sense of the word. Um, and that's how the first four caliphs were chosen by, if you like, the consensus of the early Muslim community. Yazid became caliph on his father's death in 680. His rule was to plunge the state into another civil war. In Medina, the first capital, powerful figures in the Muslim community were beginning to build strong opposition to Yazid. Particularly important examples are Abdullah, the son of Zubayr, who had challenged Ali in the first civil war. Uh, also, Hussein, the son of Ali, who had been caliph during the first civil war. He also resisted the call for a pledge of allegiance uh, to Yazid. To signal his rejection of Yazid's caliphate, Hussein left Medina for Mecca. From there, he set off for Kufa former stronghold of his father. But in October 680, here in Karbala, Iraq, Yazid's forces trapped and killed Hussein and most of the members of his family. Nonetheless, opposition to Umayyad rule was far from over. Abdullah ibn Zubayr refused to pledge allegiance to Yazid. He described himself as the, the one who seeks sanctuary in God's house and went to Mecca, sought refuge there. Yazid decided to send an army against Abdullah ibn Zubayr. But Abdullah ibn Zubayr was saved by the premature death of Yazid. At that moment in 683, he proclaimed himself caliph. Meanwhile, in Damascus, Muawiyah II, son of Yazid, was installed as the third caliph of the Umayyad dynasty. But within a few weeks, he died leaving no son, no successor, a power vacuum seized on by the rival caliph in Mecca. 
قوية المعارضة التي شكلها عبد الله بن الزبير فاحتجت حوله بعض القبائل العربية قبائل من العراق وقبائل من سوريا وقبائل من فلسطين عمان the Jordanian capital a city overlooked by the remains of a Byzantine castle and the palace of the Umayyad governor the tribes of Jordan were the last to stay loyal to the Umayyads in 684 a tribal gathering held here chose Marwan as the new Umayyad Caliph. And it was his son, Abdul Malik, who would reunite the Islamic State under the firm rule of the Umayyads. The Dome of the Rock. Jerusalem's most recognizable landmark. Built on the orders of the Umayyad Caliph, Abdul Malik, this is the third holiest site in Islam. But at that time, the two most holy sites, the mosques of Mecca and Medina, lay in the hands of the Umayyad's rival Caliph, Ibn Zubayr. In 691, Al-Hajjaj, a ruthless Umayyad general, set off for Islam's holiest place with a powerful army. Abd al-Malik sent him to uh, besiege uh, Mecca uh, and defeat uh, Ibn Zubayr, perhaps because Abd al-Malik himself didn't want to be too closely associated with the damage uh, to the shrine. Al-Hajjaj put Mecca under siege and a desperate Ibn Zubayr took shelter in Islam's most sacred shrine, the Kaaba. But Al-Hajjaj was not to be deterred and bombarded it with a catapult. After eight months of determined resistance, Ibn Zubayr was killed in last-ditch fighting. واستطاع عبد الملك بن مروان أن يعيد توحيد الدولة الإسلامية مرة جديدة وأن يعيد سياستها بشكل رائع ويقوم بحركة الفتوحات ومنجزات كثيرة تحسب لعبد الملك بن مروان في سياق بناء الدولة العربية الإسلامية. After two decades as caliph, عبد الملك bequeathed the legacy of stability to his son, Al Walid. On that foundation, Al-Walid would build a still greater empire. Rabat, the capital of modern Morocco. It was here in 708 that the armies of the Umayyad Caliph Al-Walid reached the Atlantic coast. After more than 50 years of fierce resistance by local Berber tribes, the Muslims had finally conquered the whole of North Africa. يعني حوالي نصف قرن من القر والفر من انتصارات وانهزامات من استقرار ورجوع إلى الشرق وهذا شيء مخالف لما وقع بالشرق. Having been conquered. The Berbers discovered that Islam had much to offer and began to convert and assimilate. One of them, Tariq ibn Ziyad, was about to write his name in history. Jabal Tariq. 